Okay, guys, welcome to chapter two, by the way. Didn't even realize, but I've decided I'm just gonna stick with this one. They've got the same stats and everything's in the same place, so... I don't know, I guess that other one's... I don't even know why that other one's here when they give you this, but... Uh, anyway, I used my stuff because <laughs> we start on an HP one this time instead of a blank one. Um, so that's awesome. We have 125 points of air this time instead of, like... 60 or whatever it started at in the first game so I'm not even gonna mess with the air and yeah you can increase the damage of uh, the impalements when you like shoot rip off limbs and shoot it at them it's kind of cool uh, stasis I went ahead and increased the duration just because it's it seems like it's it runs out quicker than it did in the first game I, I don't know if that's true but it just seems that way um, I might go ahead and pop one over to number of shots as well, but I'm not sure if I want to waste the uh, power nodes for that. And I increased the damage on the force gun. So I just thought I'd give you a rundown of what I did there. Look at that. My health bar looks normal-ish right now. Also, I have no idea how much... Oh, I've got quite a bit of credits, actually... So let's go ahead and buy some of those, buy some of those, and spend the rest of my money on that. And then let's reload everything, see what our reload times are. A little bit faster than it used to be. That's really slow, again, so I'll have to upgrade that. And that's a little faster than it used to be as well. Now, when enemies pop up, I'll try and remember to show off the alt fire for this one. Uh, for right now, we're going to stick with the, the plasma cutter. Um, just because the contact beam really wouldn't do anything for me because ammo is so expensive at this point in the game. How much ammo did I get for everything, anyway? Yeah, I've got, like, no ammo, anyway, except for the plasma cutter, and that's all they're gonna give us. So we'll stick with that. Audio log. Listen up. This is Sorensen from CET. Cut off their limbs! Wait. Was that the end of it? Or did I just ruin it? But, hey! I wanna listen to the audio... Close down that thing. I don't think it's gonna let it. There we go. Okay. I already knew that. Again, they are stressing this. Like, in the first game, they said like 10 times. Now they're saying it like 10 more times. Kind of annoying. I want that. That guy's up. Ha! <laughs> That was awesome. That was awesome. I just, I just threw a trash can at you. And you died. Now you get the thumps. Hey look, money. Where'd your limb go that I ripped off? I want that back. Where'd it go? Did it just like up and disappear? What the poop? Oh, there it is. I want it. There's Tideman. There you go, he's taking over. Anyway, this thing, like, shoots you down. Pretty awesome. Can't really run up it too well. I don't want that. Um, we'll probably be using that. Well, I think we get attacked here. What am I cautioning? That that thing's moving so fast? I still haven't saved yet. I should probably do that. Let me unlock the power node. And go on in here and say, Hey, money! And lots of stuff. Schematics! Power node. Awesome. Can I have an actual power node. No, I can't. Of course not. 
Why would they give me a power node? They gave me a text log. Excuse me, viewers. They gave me a text log. Titan Station Quarterly Economic Report Classified. Authorized persons only. Do not forward. Titan Station unemployment grew unexpectedly to 9.5%. Due to collateral job losses from the ongoing collapse of a local planet-cracking business, the aftermath of the Ishimura incident continues to depress all planet-cracking activity as more and more support services go out of business, leaving less and less capacity for planet-cracking. However, Titan Station continues to post a small profit, buoyed solely by the cash influx from EarthGov's scientific research and operation facilities. Human needs and service organization has been spared the brunt of the planet cracking collapse by the pickup and traffic with government sector, planet cracker docks, ship services, mining supplies, and tool vendors continue to post heavy losses. However, the CEC itself has found moderate new life for its facility in the R&D department of the government. Yay! Research and development. Just so you know, I'm pretty sure you already knew that. But, uh, just in case. Did I get... I did not get a power node, I am sad. Got a schematic for a power node, though. Can I get down here and... Deposit said schematic? Open. Alright, let's deposit the schematic. Yay! Schematic deposited. And I don't have enough for a power node. Because they're 10 grand again! Whipty freaking do. And I don't think I have anything I really wanna. Thought I sold you. Did I not? I guess I did not. That was weird. There's the one we started the game with. Get that crap out of here. Move that over. And these aren't worth anything. Because they were free. Except that one, because I put a power node into it. And they only give me half my money's back. And that's 100 bucks. I need two grand. Ooh. Screw it. We're going to do it. Why am I selling ammo like a dumb... You ask, you find yourself asking. Because I want a power node. And it's totally worth it. Because I might come across another power node door and it could have goodies. And we like the goodies. Yeah, there's Tideman. Kind of looks like, uh, um. Hey, what's that guy in Law and Order? Kinda looks like that, with the ponytail. Yeah. Ice. Ice tea. Is it iced tea? No, I don't know. There's don't Mr. Tea, there's vanilla ice, there's ice cube, and iced tea? I don't think that's right. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Kinda looks like him though. That dude or whatever that dude or I think it is iced tea. Sounds about right. Could be wrong. I could just want some iced tea right now, but I am out, unfortunately. I drank it all, like a greedy son of a bitch that I am. It's iced tea. It is iced tea. Yes. Yeah. There's my power node. I care who he plays. That character just kind of looks like him. Or Tideman kind of looks like him. Right? Well, this doesn't look good. People are dying around us. That's okay. We're Isaac Clark. We only care about the safety of ourselves. So it was kind of stupid for me to sell that ammo now. But it'll be alright. Because I have two power nodes. So I'll be able to upgrade something. Or go through a paranoid door and still have one left over. Get out of here, man! 
Dragging me down. Nobody likes you. Well, I got blood all over my elevator. That guy's a jerk. Isaac, Isaac over here. Who are you? It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac, Why are those necromonsters running around behind him? Oh, hello. No. No. Yeah, those guys got so much easier to kill. <laughs> Had so much trouble with them. And now they're just like two shots? Yeah, get out of here. Get. No, where does corpse go? Yeah, you. No, no, not his arm. His... Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. You jerk. Um, where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go straight down. Is there anywhere else I can go? Why does that affect that? I don't. That is so weird. Anyway. Like, that's my heater. Like, I have a little floor heater, and when I turn it off, like, my computer makes noise. I don't understand. <laughs> They're not even plugged up to the same outlet. No, ow. No. No. Gimme give give that, and I'll just do that. Alright, and we're good. And you are hiding in a closet. Well, okay. Guess it's safe to say he came out of the closet. Ha ha ha. I got jokes. Pretty bad jokes, but... That guy came out of the bathroom. Oh, that's the guy's throwing up. Morning sickness? Yeah, it kinda sucks. Wear protection, viewers. We're gonna end up like that guy. You don't wanna end up like that guy. What else we got in the bathroom? We got... Automatic flushing toilets with blood on them? Yeah, okay, it's blood. It's alright. I'd rather it be blood than the other. Hey, lady! Are you still alive? I wanna say you are. Yeah, see? See how I can? Yeah. See? You know what I mean? That's a, always a good test, if you if something falls down like that, try and pick it up, and if it doesn't let you, then it's still alive. Because how cheap would it be if something was charging at you, you just pick it up and throw it back? Like, that, would, that wouldn't be fair. I mean, that'd be awesome, but it'd be broken as all hell, because you'd be in, or untouchable, I was going to say indestructible, and then... I just kind of, yeah. Anyway, teddy bear. Hey, look, baby, I got you a teddy bear. Oh, thank you. And I'm gonna throw it away. Oh. So this guy, somebody is locked in the washing machine or the dryer. I'm not sure which one. We're just gonna leave that alone and go. Okay, maybe not. I got my shotgun. I'm cool. Hey, buddy. I don't, I don't want what you're selling. Leave me alone. Oh, hey, I got four center. Hey. What's going on? Oh, hey, that guy. Yeah, so now it has, like, long range application. Look at that. Awesome. Hey. I don't want any way you're selling either. Ow, or you. That guy still sucks. Like, no matter what happens, he, he's... Ow! Oh, wow. I have no idea how that worked, but it worked. Eat that guy. No. You don't want any? Alright, that's, that's cool. Just reload. Yeah, reload, thank you. Alright, yeah, I really need to upgrade that reload speed because it's terrible. There's more ammo around. Thank you. What the crap did I just pick up? Secret rounds? I don't have a secret rifle. <clears throat> don't give me ammo that I don't 
need. Come on, game. You're better than that. Aren't you? Yeah. Everybody looks like they've been skinned alive. I don't, I don't get it. I don't remember that being a thing in the first one. Being skinned alive. Hey, look, ammo. Anyway, next. All right, that's that's cool, man. I'm going this way. Dude, calm down. Anyway, we got another audio log. That's part one of two. Titan Station conquering a moon. Get it? Because is a moon. This one is really long. I don't want to read this. Hey. Come here. I don't want to read it either. Come here. You're my reader. I gotta read. I'm starting to bother my contacts. Uh, Titan Part 1. Planet cracking first became feasible in the decades following the discovery of the Unified Field Theory, which allowed us to control the gravitation or gravitron in the same manner we were accustomed to controlling the electron. Yeah, there you go. With the advent of large-scale applications of gravity or gravitron control, it became clear to the mining consortiums they had a new tool at hand. Shock point drives. Oh, my contacts itch. Shock point drives were in their infancy, so extrasolar mining was out of the question, and the dangers of planet cracking were still unknown. Hey, on the last paragraph, I'll take it from here, baby. Love you. I can't kiss you with the headphones. I just don't don't let me do it. Anyway, Saturn's moon tank was selected as the site of the first moon harvest. As it was known back then. Saturn was far enough from Earth as the consortiums were willing to work and still have reasonable access to timely supplies and support. So yeah, there you go. There you go. Planet cracking at its finest. You, get out of here. I don't like you. So, now sometimes, I don't think now, but sometimes you'll see goodies out in the far reaches of stuff that you can pick up with your thing. And let's... What? You want help? Open the door! Open the door, Richard! Richard! Open the door! I wonder how many people got that. Anyway. We're gonna go in here. Yeah, that lady's dead. Dead. She's just dead. That's not even... I can't... I used to be able to select stuff. Anyway, let's go. There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? Yep. How this happened? The marker was destroyed, and I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyvan built another one. On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tyvan wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino tower's permanent. Data? Damn it. Dana. That's such an unfortunate name. I used to know somebody named Dana. She was alright. I suppose. If you're into the whole goth chick kind of thing. Okay, I think that's a duder. Oh, that's... Hey, look! It's Bill! How you been, Bill? Dee -dee. Look at him, he's... Like he's not getting enough vitamins to me. And he's like bouncing around the da 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 da. All right, <laughs> I'm so going to hell for that. Anyway, <laughs> hey, look, Bill's got a diary. Uh, oh, hello. What? Look at this. Hymns and prayers. He's got like family photo there. I like picture crazy old Maurice over here. And then he's got, like, Carmen Electra uh, with her boobs hanging out, like, right there. Like, really, Bill? You're gonna, gonna pray while you're staring at boobies? I don't... I don't think that's gonna work out for you. Hey! It's a loot. We can't destroy the loot, unfortunately. I know it's a horrible abomination of an instrument. But, you know, it's it's been there for us. It's, it's been around for a while. 
See? That lady wishes she had a loot.